Welcome guys, good morning, happy Friday, or is it so happy? <laughs> Let's jump right into it. So quick video, I uh, just wanted to basically uh, give a quick update if you're not paying attention. Um, Bitcoin, start off with Bitcoin, we definitely uh, broke through our support that I wanted to see somewhere around 17,200 it wasn't technically support it was resistance if you look back a week ago and it looks like we kind of broke back into this um this little um i don't know if you want to say above this channel that we had like two weeks ago <clears throat> excuse me um that was basically like i've always i've been stating this this channel that we were in was around 16.2 to 16.8 we broke through it obviously up into the fed meeting and we uh stayed kind of peaked up a little bit before but it kind of stayed in it and we did have a nice run up up until the wordage in the fed meeting where they said they basically want to um they're ex basically they want to keep the uh interest rates going they want to keep incre increasing interest rates for uh basically for the uh, for foreseeable future coming in 2023 also you throw in there's just uh, you know a lot of crap being said uh, Binance isn't doing the best right now. I think they're going to pull through, but they're not doing the best. And you have uh, re fears of uh, uh, recession that, you know, if you can, a lot of people argue that we've already been in one, but they're they're throwing it out, the narrative that there's going to be a deep recession in the 2023. So take what you want. You th And there's probably stuff that I'm missing, but there's just, you know, a lot of stuff that's going on right now that and it's just it's really not it's just wordage it's just the the uh people putting out the seed of just fud and, you know we're we're crap no fud around here right so we kind of get got to get past all that see through it and if you believe in crypto and in some of these certain projects then you know honestly these are actually good times for you right now because you have you're having opportunities to get into some positions or add to your positions that you possibly never had so that's what I'm gonna get into next here but Bitcoin uh, it's, it's holding at about 17,000 um, looks like it does have some support we've already seen some support we might even see some dip downs to 16 8 like 16 9 maybe 16 8 8 uh, 16,850 and then bounce back up if that's the case and that means we're going to be in uh this like kind of this uh support system that we've been in prior to the meeting which isn't terrible obviously we wanted to see uh you know us going up the staircase but it looks like we backtracked and went back down one stair so we'll see how it goes we'll, we'll monitor it obviously we have this weekend coming up and if you're familiar we know the weekends can bring more pain how much pain we don't know sometimes out of you know you see 10 weekends one of them will actually have a decent pump but majority 90 percent of the time where it's it's a dump it's just we don't know how much if it's going to be you know flat line or if it's going to be sunday usually there's nice sell-off so we'll see how it goes i wanted to point out um for all the ada gang out there uh cardano i'm definitely a part of that I have a nice bag of Cardano and I've been adding uh, since we've since we've been sub 50 48 cents I've been slowly buying in um, I definitely accumulated more than I ever thought I would have of, of um, Ada and um, now we just hit a 52 week low of 28 6 28 cents 28 point six cents basically um, so that's a 52 week low which means you know obviously we haven't seen this number in over a year so is this a good buy-in uh for myself because not i'm not giving out financial advice but for myself um since i've already been buying in you know somewhere at a at around 40 45 cents and i've been slowly buying more as it was down into the 30s now that it's at 28 this morning i did uh add to my bag um, will we see something lower possibly you know the way the trend's been going especially with Cardano is it's been on a downward trend but I believe in Cardano you know I believe in the in the ADA ecosystem 
So we'll have to see how it goes with that. But I'm me personally, it's just a long term kind of buy. I just you know I don't go crazy, but I just buy you know a few hundred here, a few hundred there, and I just keep adding. So just wanted to point that out. <clears throat> Cardano is at a 52 week low as of this morning on Friday. So we'll see how it goes. Um, the market yesterday had a terrible day, uh, almost 800 points down for the Dow Jones. And you can kind of see the other numbers. So just wasn't good. You know, it uh, was unexpected, honestly, after the meeting. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I thought maybe we'd flatline a little bit, but definitely went down a lot. And I think it's just like I keep saying, it's just, you know, they have the fears that you turn on the mainstream news and it's just, you know, inflation went down, but uh, and, uh, people were calling for, um, all the big people were calling for a deep recession in 2023 and, and just, you know, basically that's, in a nutshell that's what they're basically saying everywhere so we got to get past this recession fears because I, I don't know if people already realize but we've been I, I personally think we've been in a recession everybody's been you know holding on to their money and not spending too much on on pointless things anymore you know we everybody was doing that the last few years now people are the car markets uh, going down used cars new cars I would imagine the demand might still be up because a lot of people weren't buying weren't able to get used car or new cars you know because it was um chip shortage so i'm sure the demand's still up but we'll have to see um i, I think that it's going to start the demand's going to start going down so the dollar looks like yesterday it did go up the the dxy did go up um you know i, I don't know exactly how much it went up but we're still if you see it's still technically on a downward trend but it did bounce back up so these are all just things we'll have to just monitor and see we'll see how it goes just wanted to give you guys a quick uh quick update we'll definitely have some more videos this weekend uh covering some other coins hope you guys have a great friday enjoy see ya